Okay, so she's back for her first oil change. It's ex right around three weeks since uh, Bra got his hands on this truck. Yeah, we're right at already almost 5,000 miles at right at 10 when I gave it to him. Let's see here. The fuel mileage is going to be a little goofed because it turns out with these Lariat wheels on here. Got it. Um, so 9.9 .9 is the average pulling the trailer every day. Yeah, I mean, you can see my other videos of the trailer it's been pulling. Um, so yeah, anyways, um, but that's not a, quite an accurate number because we've got these Lariat wheels and tires that are a little bit bigger. Uh, we're gonna put the base ones back on tomorrow and he'll run those for an oil change and we'll see, see what changes. Um, so far, it's been pretty good, just an ice box. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, do an oil change and check through her and see how she goes. All right, so she's back for her first oil. About not about, he put 5,000 miles on it in three weeks. Uh, Ford sticker said dump the oil, even though the thing on the on your gauge said still 13% left. Uh, we're gonna go off the gauge because that goes up to about 7,500 miles, uh, I think, is where they want you to dump it out if you go off that. Um, but yeah, I've got my stuff back there. This is what it cost me in materials, and I bought, um, there's the oil filter, $7. I just bought two five-quart jugs, because this thing calls for eight, $25, and then that MOA additive, which I like, another 15 bucks, but, um, so you, you, you could take $15 off, and, and you'd be at, oh, less than $40 in, in material. So the other thing we're going to do is uh, the speedometer's off, we found out, because these tall tires. I'm trying to get four scan put on my computer. That's like the dumbest name for software I think I've ever heard, but you can adjust the tire size. The dealer won't adjust uh, tire size for anything bigger than what it came with. Even though it was a factory Ford, these came right off a of Lariat, Ford won't set it up for me. So I gotta figure that one out. So for now, um, I'm going to put the factory tires on that it came with. We'll slap those on and check mileage, see if there's a difference. Um, right now it's saying he's getting 9.9 .9 was the average for that last run. Um, last 5,000 miles hooked to the trailer and stuff. So we'll see. We'll change it out and see what happens. Plus the other tires are a little better. Ones are starting to show pretty half decent wear at 15,000 miles, um, you know, pulling really shreds through tires. I mean, there's not a whole lot left on that back one. Um, but we might slap them back on come summer or something and and run them. So yeah, let's dump oil and pull a sample and, and see how she goes. Got mole sample.
So, we got the stock steelies put back on. We're gonna go from a, let's see here. Pretty much a 34 and a half to a 31. And we'll see if, uh, see what our mileage, if our leverage makes a, you know, you're, you're farther from here to here, so you got more leverage. Or if the, we have less rolling resistance being a bigger tire, we'll see which one gains. We're going to set these up all at the same PSI and, and check it at the next fuel or oil change interval and see how she goes. Both are Michelins. This one's a 45 75 17. Uh, it's the LTX MS. This is a Michelin LTX AT2 275-65 R20. So we'll see. We'll run a run another 7,000 miles or so and check the fuel mileage average and see how she goes. We did find out that we're off almost between 20 and 30 miles a day. The odometer is running these big tires, so I'm not going to put these back on until I can get a good, accurate way to reset the. Um, uh, speedometer for these tires so yeah we'll fill her up and check her at the next one all right oil's changed she's full of oil everything's plugged back in my shop is a mess um here's what i'm running this is the moa got phenomenal luck with this and um everything diesels gas doesn't matter um this is the oil i'm running they called for 530 in this but they're out so 10.30 is, it'll be fine. The final grade when it's hot is the same, so it doesn't matter that much. Um, this number, if you don't know, is for a negative, I think it's negative 30 degree rating or somewhere in there. Really cold is where that rating is. That's your 200 degree-ish, I think. I can't remember the exact temperature, but this is your operating temperature range. Um, not full synthetic, just the regular old dyno oil and uh, this stuff, and that's how we're gonna run this motor. Um, and we'll just see how she goes. Um, yeah, appreciate you watching. And well, uh, I'll put the, once I get my oil samples back from John Deere, I'll put the data in the comments and we'll go from there.